multiple. So this means that quantization has been set separately on each individual clip. So yes, you can quantize in two different ways, meaning that you can actually have multiple quantizations on the same track in GarageBand. It's pretty cool. Let's show you how to do it here. Let's say that we have this, this string instrument here that we can listen to. So let's play it. This is using iSymphonic. It sounds like this. Ooh, foreboding. Oh, is everyone, work, is, is everyone okay? Yeah. So as, I, as we can show you, we can go in here to our plugins and EQ and go to track settings and quantization. Now this quantization will quantize your entire track. So this is doing it at the track level, but you can quantize at the audio clip level. So there's another way to do this. So let's turn off quantization there and let's show you how to do this. So let's just say that we wanted this bit quantized on the eighth note. So we come in here, we go to edit and then we, oops, that's the wrong one. We need settings. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, try that again. Take two. We tap on this one. We go to settings, and then we go to quantization. This should look familiar because this is your quantization option. So we can go straight quantization, eighth note. So that is actually quantized just this particular clip. So if we go done, what we can then do is say, ah, oh, this clip, we actually want this quantized to a 16th note, not quite as much quantization on there. So we go settings, quantization, 16th note. And then this final section, again, if you click across these, you'll notice that it'll just bring up the quanti While you're in quantization, you can keep clicking other bits and it will go straight to the quantization. So we can then go, I want quarter note quantization on this one. Cool, done, excellent, sweet. All right, so then what you'll notice is that if you go back to your overall quantization up here, you'll see that it says multiple. So this means that quantization has been set separately on each individual clip. It's even cooler than that. If you've got a clip like this, don't forget that you can actually split this out. So say that we wanted to split this into two sections because this section needs quantization and this is more freeform, we can do that. And then just make sure that we've only got the quantization on this section. And then we go to this section and we turn it off. Boom, done. So there you go. You've got a lot of flexibility with your quantization here. You can either do it at the overall track level or you can do it at the audio clip level or the MIDI clip level on here.